Grand Theft Auto 4, the blockbuster Perfect 10 on the consoles, has finally landed on PC. We've captured footage from our gaming rig as well as Xbox 360 to compare this recent release to its console counterparts. First off, the PC has a few additional features that we'll call out in no particular order. It supports 32 players online opposed to 16, and you can drop your own music files into a folder and then they function as a radio station in-game. Finally, there's a snazzy clip editor that allows gamers to save 30 seconds of gameplay and edit together with assortment of simple effects. All this stuff is welcome, but it really pales in comparison to the behemoth that is the core single-player experience in GTA 4. The PC supports both the 360 gamepad and the keyboard mouse control configuration at the same time, so you get pinpoint aiming accuracy with the mouse and ease of driving with the controller. Both are active at the same time so you can swap in and out, which is a good thing because driving with the keyboard straight up stinks. So far so good, the PC has everything the consoles have and more, including achievements through games for Windows Live. But how does it look? Well, at the highest settings, the PC game looks amazing. Seeing New York portrayed at this level of detail is incredible. Unfortunately, the frame rate suffered once we bumped up the settings to a point where it looked significantly better than the consoles. Here's our rig specs for context. We have a Core 2 quad running at 2.4 GHz, 2 GB of RAM on Vista 32, and we're using a 768 MB GeForce 8800 GTX video card. Not too shabby. We scaled texture quality, car density, and draw distance and other effects individually, but obtained less than 30 frames per second when turning any one thing up too high. All of these adjustment options are great, by the way, but you won't be running at the highest settings without a really powerful machine. For now, the consoles still hold the edge in ease of use and overall graphics quality. For more information, you can check out the written head-to-head -head on insider.ign.com.